Let's go as professionals. JC, hey, I'm sorry for bothering you. I have okay. only one question. One advice for the person who wants to become a stuntman or looking for a stuntman career. Well, first, make sure you really want it. You're just gonna watch and not subscribe? So what? So everything. Okay, looks like we are going to enjoy some action today. And recently we challenged some movie stunts in real life and even come up with the new ideas and new stunts. And for the last couple of weeks I received a lot of questions why are you not doing Hollywood stunt thing? And today we are going to enjoy the action and find out why. That was a nice take. <laughs> safety guy. He yeah. said no and then, <laughs> and then I find a new safety guy. <laughs> safety guy says, you can't do that. So I get another safety guy. <laughs> It looked pretty epic, I thought. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Looked like an action movie type thing, so. Everything! I think one of the most important part, if you want to become someone or ended up somewhere, you have to put time and effort into it. And I believe my stuntman career started back in 2014, and I remember my enthusiasm were killed almost instantly, just because out of 12 hour shift, we were playing that about like nine hours and the rest were just waiting. So I had kind of frustrating experience thinking that production will need my skill set, but at the end of the day, they just buy in your time and you just like be there. So as a kid who watched Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan and have a very delusional understanding of stuntman work, it's very frustrating experience just because you're playing that. And we have to understand that everything in the beginning might not be as exciting as it should be, but for my first year of working as a stuntman, the most exciting things, I met one of my childhood heroes, um, Mark Dacascas. Comment below, respect Mark Dacascas if you know who he is. So the first and most important part, you have to put effort and time into it. And it's always nice to make things from the first try but in reality, you have to practice more and more and more. That's how you become professional. I was like the Instagram says, amateur practice until it's done right and professional practice until he can get it wrong. Something like this. Even here, you can see how many takes it, it, it took. Oh, let's do it again. You see. I don't want to hit you. You see, two in a row. It was epic. Do you want to try? Sure. Yeah, practice. I will cut it. <laughs> okay, 50% success. Yes, but more power. Nice. A little bit of practice and everything will work. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it so hard that it goes all the way through. Ready? Yeah. Nice. Nice, right? Almost first attempt. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So I believe the next important part is reliability and trustworthy. And nowadays it's a challenge to prove yourself trustworthy, but it also requires a skill to be able to trust and rely on people. And especially in stunt world where your health and probably life can depend on your teammates performance. And I think it's a big challenge to find the people who you can trust. And also it's a challenge to become a new trustworthy member of already existing group. So you kind of have to trust the people who you work with, who you're friends with, and uh, who you live with. Right, Carter? Yes. <laughs> no. 
That was awesome. It <laughs> was exciting. I don't, I don't know. Like, is it exciting part to provide company and support or like doing stunts? I don't know. I, I didn't do the other part, so I, so I don't know. But it was exciting just doing that. So, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm happy to yeah. hear that you enjoyed it. Do you want to do it? No. No? Okay, okay. No, no, no pressure. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe yeah. next time. Yeah. <laughs> One more piece. Anton, can you get it from over there for me? Yeah. Need some help? No, I got it. You sure? Yes. Okay, so next important thing is to be competent. Make sure that you can get the job done is important. Ability to make the right decisions in a short amount of time and not only get the job done, but also provide the safety for yourself and your partners. And either way, I've done stunts in Hollywood. I wouldn't consider myself a Hollywood stuntman, but likely today we have opportunity to ask professionals what they think about it. Let's go, let's go ask professionals. Let's go ask professionals. Jesse, hey, Anton. sorry for bothering you. I have okay. only one question. Only one question. Yes. Okay. One advice for the person who wants to become a stuntman or mm. looking for a stuntman career. Well, first, make sure you really want it. Make sure you want to train really hard and work with the team and know that you're going to get pretty beat up. If you love it, then the things you really need to do are train with other stunt people, always be open-minded, ready to learn, be really good at listening and taking direction, be smart and alert so that when things around you change, you're the first one to see it or hear it and be ready to react to whatever you need to do to stay safe, to keep your teammates safe and to still get the shot. Um, I think those are the most important. Also train all the time and don't get hurt. We can, I mean, we can just chat about it more if you want. Oh, like a podcast. Sure. Let's, <laughs> let's do like a podcast. What should you do if you are develop the certain skill? For example, you like high falls or you like burning stunts, but everything that people want from you just die. <laughs> shot, you well, know? the first thing to do is accept that dying is a big part of being a stunt person. Most of your jobs are going to be either like getting hit once and falling down or getting shot and dying. You do a lot of playing dead. Yeah. It's almost always in a puddle. <laughs> You're almost always cold and wet or sweating, but you just have to enjoy the humor of it. Yeah. So understand that most of your jobs are gonna be like silly little things that are just like, enjoy, enjoy the people that you're with. Like stunt people are cool. All stunt people have amazing stories from something. So like I love hanging out with other stunt people and just asking them about their experiences, especially the older stunt people have crazy stories from the 80s. I think of every job as like a chance to learn more cool stories from other stunt people. And maybe if you're lucky, you'll get to do something really amazing. But know that most of the time it's run into a building, aim a gun, get shot before you get to do anything and then fall and like play dead on the ground for a while. It feels like they don't take the fully potential of your skill set. Oh, of course not. Not most of the time they won't. Because if you think about any fight scene, even in the biggest action movie, you've got the star of the movie who's going to do all the cool flashy moves and he's fighting a hundred bad guys who are all going to rush in, get shot once and then die. So if you're one of the super competent stunt people, really talented, smart, paying attention, you're gonna die 30 times on that movie. You're gonna run in from one angle and die, and then you're gonna run in from another angle with a different shirt and a hat and die, and you're gonna run in from another angle with your beard and mustache shaved. And so when you're that valuable person that they know they can trust to be on the right mark every time and to see things that are changing and adjust, they're gonna use you as much as possible. And then you get to a point where like you're on the core team, but you've been burned, where there's no way that we can put you in anywhere without the audience recognizing you. Uh, oh, but maybe we can have your back turned the whole time. Like you want to be that person that they want to use so badly that they'll find a way to use you even if you're recognizable. And when you become that person, as soon as 
the stunt coordinator that knows you has a role where the actor looks like you, they're going to put you in that spot. But you have to understand that there will most likely be years and years of just being the thug. It doesn't matter how amazing you are if nobody knows about it. It also doesn't matter how amazing you are if you can't do it like on the mark at the right time mm -hmm. in the way that they need it. Like no one cares if you can do a quadruple backflip if you can't make it look like it tells the story. Good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had my first job being like a lead double on Leverage uh, where I was doubling like a very acrobatic cat burglar. And that was so fun ex and exciting because she just did all kinds of really interesting stunts. Mm. Um, and then you get to really be a collaborative part of the team where they're like, we want her to do something like this. What can you do? How do we, how can we alter this space? But it's just, you just have to know that there's a commitment, an investment. If you're just waiting for your turn to do something exciting, it's gonna be a really boring day. But if you take it as your responsibility to make sure that everyone's safe, that like someone once told me the stunt coordinator should never have to ask you for a mat. You should be so aware of what he's doing and what's coming next that when he starts to like look for a mat, you're there with the mat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so basically you have to be a stunt coordinator who knows the job. So you gotta... Yeah, I mean, if you can have the knowledge and awareness of a stunt coordinator while mm -hmm. you're playing the thug, mm -hmm. you make yourself essential to the stunt coordinator without stepping on toes or getting in the way. It's definitely uh, a fine uh, balance. Uh, okay, so it is, it's a competitive <laughs> field, right? It is a competitive field, but like, I don't think going into it with a competitive attitude is is the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. It's way more collaborative of like, these are my teammates, how do we tell the most amazing story to make it as realistic and convincing and impactful. At the end of the day, like everybody's here just to make a good content, good story, good, mm -hmm. good movie, good stuff. Yeah. That's why it's for me YouTube attractive, just because I can do whatever I want. You just have to respect stunts as its own skill. Like there are a lot of skills that contribute to make a good stunt person, but stunts is also its own thing where you need to change your form and style to tell the story. The action that the story is telling is causing your motion. I definitely see stunt people as storytellers. I really enjoy the storytelling With process. Action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. a cool one. I like it. Thank you so much. Sorry You're for welcome. interrupting your personal space. Uh, that was a very... Um, no problem. <laughs> Coffee break. Coffee break. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> No, I actually thank you so much. I oh, really, you're welcome. <laughs> it's an honor for me. Yeah. yeah, I'm curious as to how how serious you would be about wanting to do stunts. All right. And also, you said it's very important to um, to be able to die perfectly, right? Yes, excellent dying safely and convincingly. It wasn't convincing. I you do out. not look dead. <laughs> <laughs> I chickened out in the mid air. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> 